Hi everybody, hope you're all doing well. In this short lesson, I'm going to show you eight useful phrasal verbs that are often used in business meetings. Welcome back to English for Professionals. I'm Derek and I'm here with another short lesson for you busy people. Before we get started, just a quick reminder to subscribe to my channel hit the red button and don't forget to click on the little bell. That way you'll be notified every time I upload a new lesson. And join my email list. Every two weeks I send out my free vocabulary email with additional business English, words from the news and everyday English for you to learn. The link is in the description below. And now let's get started. For each phrasal verb, you'll see two example sentences. To practice your speaking and pronunciation skills, repeat each example sentence with me after you hear one, two, three. And our first phrasal verb is get through. Get through. If you get through a task or an amount of work, you complete it. The first example sentence is something that you would hear at the start of a meeting. We have a lot to get through today, so let's begin. One, two, three. We have a lot to get through today, so let's begin. And the second example is something you would hear at the end of a meeting. Thanks for a great meeting, everybody. We got through a lot of important business today. One, two, three. Thanks for a great meeting, everybody. We got through a lot of important business today. And the second phrasal verb is knuckle down, knuckle down. And this means to focus and work hard on the task or job to be done. We'll have to really knuckle down if we want to finish the project on schedule. One, two, three. We'll have to really knuckle down if we want to finish the project on schedule. The start of the month was hard, but we knuckled down and hit our sales targets in the end. One, two, three. The start of the month was hard, but we knuckled down and hit our sales targets in the end. Up next we have go over. Go over, which means to carefully check or review something. This proposal is very important, so let's go over it one more time. One, two, three. This proposal is very important, so let's go over it one more time. Alex, please go over the report and make sure there are no mistakes. One, two, three. Alex, please go over the report and make sure there are no mistakes. The next phrasal verb is bring up. Bring up, which means to start discussing a topic. That's a very interesting point. I'm glad you brought it up. One, two, three. That's a very interesting point. I'm glad you brought it up. I'm sorry, but I don't think we have time for that. Maybe you should bring it up at the next meeting. One, two, three. I'm sorry, but I don't think we have time for that. Maybe you should bring it up at the next meeting. Up next we have go on. Go on. And this means to start talking again after a pause or interruption. Please go on. I'm sorry for interrupting. One, two, three. Please go on. I'm sorry for interrupting. And the second example is a little more formal. You would use this after you've been interrupted in a formal meeting. May I go on? One, two, three. May I go on? Up next we have break something down. Break something down. And this means to separate something into smaller parts so that it's easier to do or understand. The process sounds quite complex. Could you break it down for us, please? One, two, three. The process sounds quite complex. Could you break it down for us, please? There's a lot involved in this task, so it might be better to break it down into smaller tasks. One, two, three. There's a lot involved in this task, so it might be better to break it down into smaller tasks. 
And the next phrasal verb is point something out. Point something out. Which means to tell someone something that they did not already know or had not thought about. That's completely new to me. Thanks for pointing it out. One, two, three. That's completely new to me. Thanks for pointing it out. I'd just like to point out that these results are from last year, not this year. One, two, three. I'd just like to point out that these results are from last year, not this year. And our last phrasal verb is to think something through. Think something through. Which means to carefully think about the possible result of doing something. I'm afraid that wasn't our best decision. We just didn't think it through. One, two, three. I'm afraid that wasn't our best decision. We just didn't think it through. I'm sorry, but I don't think this plan will work. You and your team need to think it through again. One, two, three. I'm sorry, but I don't think this plan will work. You and your team need to think it through again. So that brings us to the end of another short lesson. I hope you found it helpful. And if you'd like to learn more phrasal verbs for business, check out my other lesson on phrasal verbs. You should see the link somewhere here. If you like this lesson, hit the like button and share with your friends and colleagues. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that already. And don't forget to join my email list. Every two weeks, I send out my free vocabulary email with additional business English, words from the news and everyday English for you to learn. The link is in the description below. Thanks a lot for watching and see you soon.